I titled this video how to protect your house spiritually because there are so many things that are happening in people's houses that is traceable to what sometimes they can see they are holding they are working with they are allowing and yet they are praying and there is no answer the bible says in proverbs 11 even I mean, by proverbs 19 verse 2 it says for a soul to be without knowledge it is not good but the good news is that the bible also tells us in proverbs 11 tells us clearly that true knowledge shall that man shall that woman shall that sister shall that brother shall the just be delivered this puts importance to the issue of what you know because when you know eh, your deliverance is easier have you ever wondered why secrecy is paramount very important in a lot of dark activities because they know that with knowledge their victim can escape today i want to share with you some wisdom that will help you not by my own ability but by what only god can do how to protect your house spiritually is there always quarrel in your house do things disappear or things just get missing and you're just like why do you cook soup and a sauce or things are just spoiling you don't even know why you are moody you feel grumpy or is there this feeling of something is wrong but i cannot tell do you observe maybe money is missing or there's always some sort of stress going on in that house it is time for you to check the house spiritually and cleanse it and i'm going to use a text of scripture to go into what i want to talk about the bible tells us there are many reasons but i'm going to work with some the bible tells us in proverbs 18 verse 3 he said when the wicked comment then commit contempt and with ignominy reproach so the presence of the wicked in your house can bring a lot of things that can go wrong that the things that are going on in that house may be because of certain things you allow one thing i can tell you without wasting time so is this be careful the people you allow into your house can i take it deeper be careful the people you allow to the rooms in your house can i even take it deeper than that be careful with the people you allow into your bedroom why <laughs> the bible says beware the heart of man is desperately wicked so what i want to do today is by explaining the solution i will also explain uh, uh, the problem when you begin to feel things are not right there are many things you can do i said as i explained the situation the solution i will also be explaining the problem so make sure you watch this video to the very end so that you can know what to do about yourself and your house you know i've started with something already that whenever i commit the wicked eh? so uh, bottom line commit ignominy commit reproach all this shame and all manner of things comes with the presence of the wicked now it doesn't necessarily be that the person is and maybe you have to be a witch or a wizard you see presence of some people in your house can change the dynamics of people in your house you can see the presence of jonah in the boat what happened everything turned upside down in that boat so allowing some people to come to us i can give you a lot of examples of myself that's why some people when they are coming to my house tell them not to come and meet them sometimes i may meet at the gate and eh, let me help you carry it ah, i carry it inside no 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 don't worry. just give it to me thank you so much god bless you why not because they are evil spirits it is because of there are some people by knowledge by my activity with them anytime they come into my house i always notice a change in dynamics of it so i prevent them even uh, from coming so one of the best solutions to the issues of matters in your house when you don't understand what is going on is start to rec not okay no, let me use the word record notice what happens when x y z comes to my house if you notice it if you can cause that person to come into your house you see like i've always said okay not me nicola tesla said that if you want to understand this world things in terms of energy vibration and frequency this is the energy some people bring into your house they leave a deposit of such energies in your house so if you can begin to monitor those who enter your house those who enter your rooms those who enter your personal bedroom you would have started solving your problem so one of the first thing you need to do is holy spirit calling hear me again holy spirit calling it's just like i'm saying holy spirit this house holy spirit this house 
That is why I mentioned your household, Holy Spirit, my children's room. You can either do that in your children's room or you can do it in your sitting room. But you are just, you see, by that, repeatedly calling the Holy Spirit this house, Holy Spirit this house, like my name now is Obie. I can say, Holy Spirit, Obie, this house. Holy Spirit, Obie, this house. You can even use the name of Jesus. Now, listen to me. I'm not talking of your burning incense. No incense. No candle. No throwing of salt. I'm talking of absolute total trust in what the name of Jesus can do. Total trust in... Is it about some people who say you should throw salt? Please. They know why they are saying so. Let me tell you the one I know. So then you now can decide for yourself whether you want to use salt, you want to burn incense and all dress. I don't do such things. And I'm not here to condemn or judge anybody. The people who advocate such things, I repeat again, they know why they are doing it. So my own is this. Just call upon the name of the Lord. My Bible says that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous one right in, and he is saved. So you can do Holy Spirit calling. You can do calling of the name of Jesus. You can do that also if you go to a hotel. Maybe you lodge in a hotel room. This is your first time because I've had all manner of experiences in lying on the bed. Some people have already done so many things. By the time you close your eyes, you may just oh, you just close your eyes. You start see visions of like for me now. If I enter a place, I start picking the vibration and the movement of people in that place. I, some people maybe they put the pillow behind their back when they were involved in some manner of sexual activity. I begin to pick all those frequencies. I need to clear them out. Holy Spirit calling. Calling the name of Jesus. The name of the Lord. Calling that name Jesus. Jesus. You are releasing a vibration. It will begin to vibrate, reverberate in that room and cleanse it. Sometimes I just, if some people come into my house that I don't like that movement because I can see their energy is going up and down. There was, there was a time I asked some guy to do something. I really, I remove my eyes. All the places he enter, as I just sat down like this, I just started seeing him, his energy form going all over the place. So you see, okay, you may say you do not pick such things. It doesn't matter. Trust in the Lord and lean not your own understanding. Just trust that if you mention the name of Jesus, every name else. Okay, let's leave that. On that thing you can do is play music, good music, clean music. Not all these bag, bag, boo, boo, bag, bag, boo, boo, all those kind of music that you know is divine. Don't ask me to recommend one because it will become a thing of argument. So look for music that is not commercial Christian music, good music. Remember when the evil spirit was tormenting Saul, there was a type of music that David was playing. Now, the music he played, we know it's with strings. So it doesn't have to be stringed in. Just look for good, clean Christian music that is not commercial music that uh, you understand. Let me leave that so that we don't get to argument. By the way, have you subscribed to this channel? Why don't you do that? Like, comment, and share. You can see God is helping all of us now with wisdom that will benefit all of us. So that's another thing. Another one you can do is immediately those guests or people who go, just stand by your door by faith, open down your front door, take total authority in the name of Jesus Christ over that house. Bind every energy that is moving around. Cast them out of your house. Just leave the door open and by faith say, oh yeah, the one in the room, the one in the restroom, the one in the bathroom, order them out. And then you go your way. So the one I say you should play music, you can just put the music and allow it to play. And then you just go out for a while. That's what I do in most hotel rooms if I have the time. Or play the preaching music of a pastor or somebody you trust in. So it depends on who you trust now. What I mean is our trust in the Lord, but an anointed man of God. So that as long as he's talking in that place, there's going to be divine traffic uh, in that place. On that thing you can do is you can stand in the middle of your house and say, I fumigate this house with Holy Ghost fire and with the blood of Jesus. You can now, in your mind's eye, go through every room. Begin to fumigate it by faith with Holy Ghost fire and with the blood of Jesus. Cleanse the whole place top down. Of course, if you have strange things in your house, occultic objects in your house, some things that ought not to be there, maybe you should do something. I remember I went to a hotel and there was this picture of big fat women. It was just too, you know. Now, this place, I'm not saying this against anybody's way to. I'm just trying to tell you what happened. Inside that place, and I was just like, huh. No. So I called the person, I said, please don't be offended. Can you remove these portraits from this wall? Yeah, of course, if they had refused, what I would have just done is I would just bring them down pack them to one corner uh, or tell them to keep it with them in the lobby or wherever that when i've gone they can come and put them back and they obliged me they brought a different picture that 
I was uh, not, not every hotel will do that. I didn't say when you now go to a five star hotel, you want to start ordering them about, uh, yeah, you know, but, but, no, that's what I'm talking about. But if you can, fine. And then stop the trash talking in your house. I'm going to still say some other deeper things. So I know this uh, video has gone uh, a little bit long, but it's going to be longer than this. So in case you are interested in helping yourself, because there are some deep things that I have not said. I'm talking about solution gradually. Be careful the trash talk you bring it to your house. Don't turn your house into a gossip center and then you want it to be spiritually clean. Don't turn your house to where you talk bad about people, talk evil about people, and all those things that go with it. No. Another thing I would advise you to do is this. If you go out when you come back, you see that cloth you are wearing? If that is, if you want to avoid some of the things I mentioned earlier, you see that cloth you wore, don't use it to go and sleep. You know why? You have met with people. They have touched you. Some of them embraced you. You see, all this inflow and outflow of energies affect. If you now take that same cloth with all the sweat and the dust and everything, you use it to go and sleep. Be very careful. You may be allowing some things to come into play because not everybody who touched you. you Remember when Jesus said, somebody touched me, but you left me. Somebody can touch you and some problems are left behind. You understand? Please don't go overboard with what I'm saying. Let's keep this thing moving because time is still uh, in our favor. Another one I will say is, don't be covering yourself with another person's cover cloth. If I go to a hotel room, I sanctify the bed sheet and every other thing, that's the best I can do. And the rest, I leave it for fate. Of course, when I'm sleeping in the night, I keep playing divine gospel music that are good over and over. I prefer, um, no, I don't want to say what I prefer. God will help all of us in Jesus' name. Let your, the Spirit of God lead you in that name of Jesus Christ. Good Friday, amen. So, don't use somebody's cover cloth to cover yourself. Because the energy of that person is always there. Don't use somebody's pillow to sleep but if you go to a place and they give you a pillow then find a way of sanctifying it the same way that small corner that you are staying in you can sanctify that place and the lord will honor even uh, your 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 faith and god will help us in the name of jesus now let me say some of the deeper things i wanted to say no matter what you do be careful who you allow into your house you know i told you about energy i told you of frequencies and i told you of vibrations you see some people you know your heart you don't know their heart. When some people come into your house, check around your house after they have gone, especially the ones you don't trust. A lady called me some years back and was like, I don't know what is happening in this house. Something, the house is hot. She's having problems with her husband and all the rest. I said, Madam, did some people come from your village? He you said, yes, some people came around from the village. I said, go and check the house and call me back later. Something like that. She called me back later. I said, we're checking the house girl. Now call her, say, mommy, please come and check. At the back of the window, they hung something there that was not there, like a and a, a charm, something. So I just said, take it down, destroy it, and all the rest. They took that thing out and peace returned back to the house. So you see, some people, when they come to your house eh, to sleep, you don't know what they do in the night. You don't know who you have invited to your house. Whatever that person is carrying, most you have allowed him to enter your house. All that those things he's carrying. Eh? You see, if a man of God that is a good man of God comes to your house, the grace of God that is following him will enter the house. In fact, you can sleep on the bed he slept on and experience miracle. So also, when the wicked comment, come back ignominy, come back, come back shame, come back desperation. So, you see, when some people come, you see that bedsheet and that every thing, carry it and go and wash and then sanctify it, just like I said in the beginning. So some people, when they come, they can go around your house, drop things in various places. So you have to be very careful. That sister had to go around the house, discover that chain and brought it out. And that was the end of that uh, problem. Some of them, they will say they want to, if they are not sleeping, they will say they want to use the restroom. When they go, check your restroom. Check inside the toilet bowl. Because that's where they normally drop things. If you drop inside, the, even if it's a small stone, you see inside that toilet bowl, there should be no small stone inside the toilet bowl. They will drop a natural, something they have spoken to, they will drop it there. They will now use it to connect. If you have a mirror, when they have left, sanctify the mirror. Why? Because they will stand in that mirror, speak to that mirror. You see, mystery of mirror, maybe I should teach your mirror. I won't go far with it. The mystery of the mirror is that, you see, the mirror eh, can tell everything it has seen before you bought it. 
let me leave that side. Maybe I'll do something on the mirror later. If you're interested in the mirror area, uh, maybe you leave a comment and I will know that people are interested in it. So you see, when they leave, you can take anointing oil, anoint the mirror in your house. Why? Because they can instruct that mirror that everything going on in this house, tell me, they just get on their house. <laughs> okay, now I didn't say this is what they are saying. Better they say mirror, mirror on the wall. Your mirror will begin to show what is happening in your house. Please, I didn't say that's what they used to say. You have watched that movie before for those of you who watch uh, uh frame so one of the best thing is you see that your bedroom is very secret in the ordinariness of it you say what if i have a house help madam why are you allowing a house help to enter your matrimonial house i mean your bathroom and bedroom where you and your husband is if that girl is a bad girl they can steal things eh? if that person is a witch you don't know why you and your husband are always quarreling in that room Another advice I would give is don't leave dirty dishes, <laughs> dishes overnight and don't leave those being in your kitchen. Why? Because God is always in your midst and God does not like things that are dirty. If you remember in Exodus through to Deuteronomy and more, you will see where God is telling the dead to wash themselves and sanctify themselves before coming to his presence. Okay, let me read Deuteronomy chapter 23, verse 14. He said, For the Lord thy God walketh in the midst of thy camp to deliver and to give up thy to deliver thee and to give up thy enemies before thee. Therefore, thou shalt therefore thy camp be holy, that he see no unclean thing in thee and turn away from thee. Don't leave dirty plates, don't leave dirty clothes. If you have dirty clothes, take them to a secluded place. In your house, maybe you have a store or you have a washer room, take it there out of the way because some of those people, like I said, who touched you, who you touched, who embraced you, the dirt, the sand, everything that touched you, some of them may still be as energy on those clothes. So make sure your house is clean. So I will not start telling me now. Eh, so if our clothes are dirty and we are not ready to wash it, just take them to one corner where you normally keep things. But as for trash. <laughs> if you don't want activities of bells above the Lord of the flies, the prince of devils, if you don't want some of these things, you see the way that thing attracts physical flying things, that's also how it attracts spiritual flying things. A lot of things are inside there I don't want to go into. It. Oh, 17 minutes. I think I've tried with this video. So please cleanse yourself, cleanse your house. Your house is a spiritual place, it's a secret place, it's not a place where People should just be entry anyhow. No who should enter. Like I said, some people tell them to, and let my mommy, let me help you to carry it inside the house. Tell them, thank you. God bless you. Don't worry. Right? Because by experience and exposure, there are some things you should know. I did not say don't allow people to come into your house. I did not say don't the other, but be careful the kind of traffic and be careful that your bedroom. Who enters there? My name is Pastor Ovi. I hope I've been able to share some little wisdom uh, with you. You may not even agree with everything I've said, but some of these things are things we know and are things we understand. These are the mysteries of the spiritualities of the laws of life. Don't violate them. God will help you and God will give you wisdom. If you have not subscribed, comment or subscribe to this channel. Why don't you subscribe? I advise again. Why don't you like? And why don't you share those to those? This video will help. I'll see you in the next video. I know it's long, but I'm sure you are blessed. God bless you again. Amen.